Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Yeah. Yeah, us wondering if there's a mugshot is like us under the tree shaking our presence. What do you think it is? Is it a bike? What is it? Oh, it's his birthday Wednesday. What does baby get? <laughs> baby gets an arraignment. I just had a thought. What? We see a whole bunch of mugshots coming from Florida because of every Florida man yes, story. Yes, a man from. So I, it's legal in Florida. We may see a mugshot. Uh, I hope Ooh. it's like orange, tear stained, just tanner <laughs> rolling down. Mm. He is the ultimate Florida man. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't care if there's a mugshot. I just want him in jail, but because yeah. I don't want him to sell the mugshot, it'll be his Christmas card. You know, he'll do something with it to be more of a victim, but. Because I'm just, uh, hang on, doing the math. Carry the four divided by seven. Trump faces up to 536 years in prison. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 30, of the 37 counts, if you like the facts, uh, 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information, 10 years each, three counts of withholding or concealing documents in a federal investigation, 20 years each, two counts of false statements, five years each, one count of conspiracy to obstruct justice, 20 years. That is up to over 400 years, longer than the U.S. has been a country. <laughs> That's in addition to the 34 felony counts in New York that we've already, Alvin Brand right. has filed. Your, your thoughts, yeah. Jen Berkman? I mean, I, you know, I, I, I don't know anything about how feasible it is for him to go to prison. I've heard Glenn Kirshner say some things that have kept me positive that, that he could go. Um, I was despite just going to Secret just, Service. I had a happy uh, clappy stack ready for you, but go ahead. Uh, but well, the, my thing is when I read the indictment, I didn't realize that like each piece of paper yes. is a count, right? So there's, 31 just pieces of paper, pieces of paper um, that paper. are accounts. So each paper, 31 of them, yeah. could max as 20 years prison. So let's say they just say, no, no, only one year in prison. Yeah. One times 30, 30 years. Like, however you slice it, well, if he gets the minimum, he's we, in jail for life. We keep talking about Reality Winner took one document and got five years in prison. And ironically, as I keep saying, that one document, she was trying to warn America about exactly the conclusion of this prosecution that he's a traitor mm -hmm. that you know when i yeah. i was saying you know didn't we already from Mueller and the senate committee already know this that trump interfered in the you know or russia interfered to help trump and travis yeah. was saying it, you know because i couldn't remember the details that no there was more just corroborating evidence that's what she was releasing to just as further warning to america that yes absolutely he is a traitor to the united states and, you know so Anyway, just ironically, but yeah, well, reality Kirsch winner is the ultimate example of if it can happen to Trump, it can happen to you, except reverse, which right. is it, it's only happened to her so far. Right. So Glenn was asked, does he go to jail? Uh, Glenn Kirshner said, yes, has to has to go to jail because there has to be concrete de deterrent for others who are contemplating compromising our national security information, mishandling national defense information, which is what gave rise to the espionage charge, obstructing justice, conspiring to do all of these things. If Trump doesn't go to prison upon uh, conviction, I predict he will be convicted. There is no deterrent value uh, to this entire exercise. And by exercise, I mean the criminal investigation, the indictment and the trial. Think about it. If he's a sentenced to, for example, home detention that's a sentence that's basically stream netflix and order doordash that's no kind of punishment i think jack smith understands that i think he will do everything he can to get donald trump convicted and ask the judge to send him to prison probably for the rest of his life oh yeah God, that's just, I, <laughs> read that again oh, yeah. do you need a cigarette yeah. after that <laughs> i mean his lawyer said that ty cobb said he will go to prison for this i have a question yes because he had like five eyes documents and all that if Trump left the country, could another country arrest him? I don't. I guess it depends on extradition. Yeah. extradition. Well, when's he going to Turnberry next? Because that's in Scotland, which is a part of the UK, which is a part of the Five Eyes. <laughs> well, do you guys remember when Bush wasn't president anymore, George W., and people were saying, oh, him and Cheney aren't leaving the country because um, they could be tried as war criminals in other Hague. countries? I don't know if that was true. Ironically, but... by Jack Smith at The Hague. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Oh, be funny. well, what... <laughs> Can we get Jack Smith to go back to The Hague and then Trump can go to Europe? And the, you know, there you, you see what I'm saying? I yeah. feel like we got to get him out of the country. Maybe they can nab him there. I don't know. Somebody smarter than me can explain yeah. it. Oh, well, here is someone maybe exactly as smart. Adam Schiff. Here we go. Uh, you know, I don't think the special counsel is looking at it uh, through a sort of a partisan lens of what will resonate with Republicans or Democrats. I think it will have that effect. Uh, you know, certainly those of us. Uh, that worked in the intelligence world, and of course I chaired the Intel Committee for many years, are stunned by the sensitivity of these documents, the fact that they included uh, military plans in case we were attacked 
our vulnerabilities, uh, nuclear capacities of some of our adversaries, uh, you know, and, and that these were kept, you know, in desk drawers, uh, in unlocked rooms, on the stage, in some kind of a ballroom. Uh, it really is just staggering. Yeah, one wonders, Jen, you were sort of just speculating. People there are planning their anniversary, weddings there, you know, <laughs> strolling through the room. Yeah. Were they like, now are the nuclear secrets extra or... <laughs> Is it the same price? Is it one flat fee for the golden white ballroom? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you yeah. got to charge extra for the nuclear secrets. I mean, that is that is no other uh, social club is offering that. <laughs> Except maybe Bedminster. We just assume um, he sold them to, you know, MBS. But now we're thinking, I don't know, maybe just some random wealthy couple from Boynton. Boynton? Well, that's the thing. Oh, I mean, where? we do think, right, that he sold them to, you know, <laughs> Bonesaw Larry or whatever. Right. But, right. like... I also think I should have said bone saw berry, but whatever. Yes. But I do think that um, part of it too was also just to show people. Yeah. Yeah. Just well, to remind them yeah. I was the most powerful man in the world yeah. at one time. That's what Rude Pundit said. That oh, you have a Picasso. Well, here's how how to blow up France. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what I have. <laughs> All right. One more uh, uh, representative Schiff. I think this is the way of special counsel and a speaking indictment, letting all the American people know that. This isn't a paperwork violation. These are national secrets that present real national security risks to the country. Had they been shown to others or made available to others or been stolen? Uh, and, you know, the president at Bedminster, you know, kind of showing these off. Um, and isn't this something is such powerful uh, evidence of his knowledge, his guilty knowledge, uh, that, you know, these are both important and highly sensitive classified documents that he has no power to show anyone shouldn't be in possession of. So most of his lawyers has quit, as I understand yeah. it, or yeah. are being charged with the same crimes. But I, I Or yeah. have testified against him. Yes. Um, yeah. but or they flipped. His yeah. defense is, uh, so far, uh, he gave this weekend. Um, so this is, it's not a crime because they were on the sidewalk? Is that the, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I think. Okay. When I left office and was moving to Florida, boxes were openly mm -hmm. sitting on the White House sidewalk, everybody oh. was taking pictures of them. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Pictures of them, you've all seen it, sitting with people from GSA and other people waiting to put them on a truck. But they were literally sitting outside of the White House waiting for a truck to come. Then the truck come. It was there for a long time and they put it in and they brought it down to Florida. And they make it sound like it's a big, if that's a spy operation or if that's something bad, uh, we did a very poor job, I will tell you. Yeah, you did. First thing you learn is don't put them on the sidewalk in front of the White House. Yes, <laughs> actually. That's correct. Isn't that always his defense? It couldn't be a crime. I did it right out in public. I did it right out in the open. Like, I mean, that's 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 well, part of his thing right. is the brazenness of everything he does. <laughs> that's the test of our justice oh, system. Excuse me, excuse me, people. I stabbed her in her throat in the street. Okay, people were taking pictures. How can that be a crime? I did it in front of everybody. Are you doing an impression of my Trump impression? I think you are. I you think, are. I think yeah, so. And you're doing the hands, too, the little accordion hands. Yeah. Nope. I love the hands. <laughs> I love the double handy jays, that dance he oh, does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now here's the thing, though. It, this is what upsets me, is... This took so damn long. I remember, I swear to God, didn't we see the pictures? Yes. And we're like, where are all those boxes? Yeah. Everybody saw it. And I don't know the people that should know, like, narrow, what, what, they didn't see it. I mean, well, I guess you can't just accuse boxes. someone of having documents in boxes, but we knew. Because uh, we can't get enough. Just one more. Oh, yeah, God. Sure. Why not? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, actually, I thought it was, I was impressed. I looked, it looked so orderly and mm. nice. Mm. Somehow somebody turned over one of the boxes. Did you see that? I said, I wonder who did that. Did the FBI do that? Because they also did something where they put documents all over the floors and they took pictures and they tried to pretend like I did it. And then they had to apologize. They did it. Remember that Nobody famous ever, picture? No. But the Nobody ever box said that. that was turned over. It had newspapers, it had pictures, it had clippings, it had all sorts of things. And, Nobody saw any and classified documents, documents there. And classified and documents. documents. These pictures were from his own people. Yes. <laughs> the FBI's pictures. I mean, all of the witnesses are his own people. Right. His lawyers, people he hired. His housekeepers. He appointed. It's, there's not one Democrat right. as a right. witness against him. They're not radical him. Marxist Democrats with cameras roaming around like it's. He recorded himself at that <laughs> meeting where he was like, it's a secret. 
Don't tell anyone. I yes. forgot one of the best details in the in the indictment. Yes. Remember what? There's one part where Nada says we need to get new box lids because you wrote notes on the box lids of what's in the boxes. So we need new box lids so that when you turn yeah. them back over to the FBI, they don't see the documents that you took out or what was in the boxes originally. Is he like a, like a toddler? You cannot control him it with was that the sharpie, Mr. President. Crime. Don't write on the weather map. Don't. Oh. Now you sharpied over Alabama. No, don't, Mr. President. Don't. No, give me the sharpie. Have, don't we write all, on the box lid nuclear all had a secrets. That went crazy with a marker. My nephew did once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I bought this and and this you know I bought this clear plastic documents box that I keep all my you know mm-hmm. sacred documents in. Right. Um. You know, in case it rains, it's in my closet and there's yeah. like a leak. I can't believe they were just in these like crapo paper boxes too. Like they weren't even in like a safe. Right. Yeah. Behind the staples wall- and got the yeah behind a Walmart shower curtain <laughs> with a tension yeah. rod. <laughs> the cheapest boxes you can get that have the little hand holding you uh-huh. know sides that, that are wide that open that say bankers raining. boxes on the side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even I have a shower door. <laughs> you could only afford a curtain. Okay. <laughs> with a tension. Oh, and rod. he has that gross curtain that's not even waterproof. Like right. you know, like because it's supposed to be fancy. Right. Oh. Right. Right. Jen, you've been a good girl, so I have yet another announcement from the bassinet of the week. Governor Kevin State of Oklahoma, who I didn't know very well, called me before his last election to say he was in big trouble and very much needed my endorsement. I love Oklahoma and won 77 out of 77 counties, something that never happened before. Ronald Reagan was next with 56. Anyway, I gave him my endorsement. He immediately went way up and won. Now, despite the fact that DeSanctimonious is losing to Biden and me, he stit and just endorsed him. Wow! He disliked the Indians and my great Senate pick. Just like the Indians? The Indians? What, the what did the Indians do? The Native Americans or the I don't I think he's referred Indian. to Native Americans in Oklahoma. Uh, he refers to the opposition the governor faces reelection from Native American tribes in Oklahoma something okay. 